Alright y'all, we're on our way to the mountain for a gorgeous day of mushroom hunting. It has been raining an awful lot in southern Arizona, so we're going to the Sky Islands to get some monsoon mushies. Stay tuned. Alright, so we stopped at about 6,000 feet for our first stop. Just found our first edible find of the day. We've got an itsy bitsy tiny little puff ball and uh, I'm going to show you how you can make sure that it's actually a puff ball and you're not going to eat something that kills you. Action. Okay so we got our cutie little puff ball here and the way you know you can eat a puff ball is if you break it open. All right go down to my hands and it's totally white inside. This one's purple so I'm not going to eat it. What about this bad boy? Can I eat him? kind of too small to eat anyway. This one's all white inside, so that means it is a common puffball. I think the genus is... Okay, so this puffball is too old to eat, but it's really cute. Also, I remember the genus. It's like a peridone. And if I poke it, boop, it shoots out its spores. Boop, boop, like that. Literally so cute. The cutest way to reproduce out of any organism, if you ask me. We've got a major cutie alert. Um, some kind of Amanita, maybe a variation of Amanita muscaria, not sure. But we got these cute little white polka dots on the top. Gorgeous little skirt. And we got an egg down there. Not going to dig, but she's pretty. I don't want to disturb her. And then just to the side, we've got something pushing up through here, but it looks kind of old and gross, so I'm not going not gonna to dig anymore. Uh, another major cutie alert. We got a rusula of some kind. You can tell because we got white gills going to the stem. This cute red little top. And if I pick it, this stem is going to break like chalk. It's really easy to break the stem. This one is also super buggy. Some bugs have gotten here before me, but adorable. Very cute little baby. Drop your spores, sweetums. This one is a first for me. Looks like we've got a tiny little old man of the woods. Not sure if I'll eat him, but yeah, I'll eat him. I'm gonna take him home. Sam just found these adorable little babies that are so cute. And if we break one open or stab it at all, we can see that these are babies in the Lactarius genus because it's making this Oh no, I dropped it. And I'm just making this tiny little latex. See these drops of milky goo. And Mr. Slug. Hi. All right, not 100% sure on ID, but pretty sure my baby just found some white king bolitus bolitus Barousi, um, choice edible. They smell delicious. They've got a chunky white stem. They've got white pores. This one's a little older with yellow pores, but definitely gonna take these home, see if we can get a positive ID. Oh! So when you're looking for mushrooms, one thing to look out for is kind of a bump in the pine needles like this. That usually means someone is growing. Uh, in this case, whoever grew has already rotted, but Always something fun to look for. Look for those bumps, lift them up, and you might find a handsome bolete in there. Another major cutie alert. Here we've got some witch's butter, a jelly fungus. These are technically edible. I never really take them home, but always a cute one to find. These are one of the first things I see every season. Here we've got a couple other characteristic bumps where you can see a mushroom is growing up and lifting up the pine needles. Always look out for those. Just found our first chanterelle of the day. Uh, I've never found chanterelles on Mount Lemmon before, so this is really exciting for me. I can see a couple more popping up in the uh, pine needles over there. You know it's a chanterelle because it doesn't have real gills. It's got these ridges. And when you kind of break it open, it's white inside of the stem. It peels like string cheese. Over here, we've got some wood ear. I think the genus is Oricularia or something like that. Gonna take these home, put them in a soup. They're really tasty in soup. We'll leave some. They're kind of wet, but they're still good. 
so here we found a patch of elusive chanterelles you can see how they'll try to hide from you sneaky if sneaky if we pick one up we can see for sure not Ridges, true gills not gills if you peel that stem it'll peel like string cheese and they're gonna be white on the inside just gorgeous such pretty babies so lucky to see this afternoon got a super funky donkey find here we've got a stink horn it's even got a net um i've always wanted to find one of these this is my first one so super excited on this nasty stinky boy once again we've got a major cutie alert this is the mushroom of all mushrooms the amanita muscaria so you can see down here we've got the egg sac that the amanita comes out of that's called a vulva up here we've got all the cutie little polka dots the remnants of that universal veil uh, i don't think this one has opened up yet but it would have a, a skirt wow just so pretty so gorgeous got another puffball here this looks like maybe a gem studded puffball to me let's break it open see if it's white oh nope that's a gross one we're not gonna eat that and it's so wet up here that it's not even like doing powder spores it's like gooey inside disgusting here's a cool one i didn't expect today so if you see this guy does not have pores oh i guess it kind of looks like pores because it won't focus but here maybe if i zoom out he does not have pores he does not have gills here we've got some gorgeous teeth which means this handsome man is in the hiddenum genus and i think it's a hedgehog i'm not familiar with the specific hedgehog species in arizona um looking at the top i kind of think it's a hawk's wing um but yeah i'm pretty sure what those beautiful little teeth means is hiddenum genus uh and i am also pretty sure that no mushrooms with teeth are poisonous so this is a very exciting find i love these i think they're so delicious uh can't wait to cook this guy up when i get home so i've just found some of the biggest amanitas i've seen in my life just for size reference that's like way bigger than my hand we got a bunch of handsome guys hanging out together a little baby bro getting ready to get born wow Love it. so this might be the best find of the day so far we've got a young belitus rubriceps that is the uh uh king belit um variation that we get here in southern arizona um she is just gorgeous don't see a lot of bug activity um, oh my god, I cannot wait to take this baby home and fry her up! So when I saw this guy, when I saw this guy from afar, I thought it was maybe a cauliflower. But I think more likely it's some kind of coral mushroom, but super funky guy. I like his look. Uh, no idea what these guys are, but real gorgeous weirdos heading all the way up the tree trunk. Got some coral cuties over there. Giggly, giggly, giggly. Giggly, giggly, giggly. Giggly.